first time I was kind of, it was more of a shock, and I was kind of like, okay, so this is a scary animal, let me stay away from it. And then the second time when he was actually coming for me, I was like terrified because I thought he was going to get my face or something. So that's when I right now at 5.30, for the first time, this young victim is talking about a frightening attack by a ring-tailed lemur. The attack happened outside her grandmother's home Monday in southwest Miami-Dade. She's been receiving medical treatment and dozens of rabies shots ever since. CBS 4's Peter Dan spoke with her and has this exclusive story. No, I was like terrified because I didn't know where this animal had come from. I knew it was a wild animal. 21-year-old Victoria Valador vividly remembers this ringtail lemur that attacked her Monday. I didn't know who the owners was, what was going through the animal's mind, and I didn't know the behavior of it, so I tried to stay away from it, but he and keeping coming at me was one of the scariest things I've ever been through. Valador's younger sister took pictures of this primate that was outside her grandmother's home at Southwest 56 Terrace and 140th Place. So I came out, I stepped out here, and mm -hmm. then right there was the lemur. So I saw him for like a second, and the second I was out here, he jumped on me, I put my arm up, and that's when he got me here. And then he was on me for about a good solid minute. Valador's grandmother grabbed a banana to distract the lemur and was scratched on her leg. Valador ran across the street and called 911. I was over there and I see him come walking and he's like over there walking by me. And I was kind of like, um, okay, so I'm backing up and that's when he jumped on me. He bit me the second time here. And then I just made like a mad dash sprinting here to the front door. And that's when I came in and slammed the door like in his face, like he almost came in the house. And I was like terrified because I thought he was going to get my face or something. Valador has had more than 40 rabies shots and faces more treatment. I got one stitch on this one. It was more of a puncture wound and then there's scratches like all around. And this entire arm, you can kind of see it there. It's all bruised. And then in this arm, there's also bruises on my wrist. There's three stitches. FWC was called and captured the lemur. Honestly, I'm kind of thankful it happened to me and not to a child. I was kind of like, like, why does someone have a pet lemur? Like. It just didn't make sense to me. Like, and then I found out that apparently lemurs are legal in Florida if you have a permit, which is incredible yeah. to me. Like, I think wild animals should stay in their habitat and not in someone's home because something like this can happen. Valador, who will be a UM senior and wants so to become a neurosurgeon, I mean, had some advice for owners of wild animals. So Definitely keep them contained and be responsible with them. FWC captive wildlife investigators have determined who the lemur belongs to but they have not said how it got here. The lemur will remain with FWC pending the investigation. In Southwest Miami-Dade, Peter Dench, CBS 4 News.